This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Hey, it's me, Dunhill's the Tree, and welcome back to another JDH tutorial on Menudox. Today, we are going to continue on our commands and we're gonna add a help command today. But before we're gonna add a help command, we want to make sure we have a get help method in our i command interface. So what we do is string get help. And now we can implement that oh, in our ping command. And we can say shows the current ping from the bot to the Discord servers. Next up, we need to make a few changes to our command manager. First of all, the get command needs to be public. And we're going to create a new method called get command, which will just return all of our commands. Next up, in our commands package, we're going to make a new command. And I'm going to call this help command. This implement i command. And to get access to our commands, we need the command manager. To get the command manager, it's very easy just to command manager, manager. We can make this a private final and create a constructor so we have access to it. The name will be help and the help will be shows a list of commands in the bot, a new line, and then we have the prefix which help and then an optional command parameter. So to get started, we firstly need to declare our arcs and we need to declare a, our channel to send the messages to. Next up, we're gonna check if the arcs are empty and if they are, we just want to send a list of all the commands, but we're not gonna do that for now. Next up, we need to get our string search equals arcs dot get zero. Next up, we're just gonna get a command. So I command command equals manager dot get command search. And if command is null, we're gonna say nothing found for search. And if it isn't null, we're just gonna return the help of the command. Next up, when our arguments are empty, we want to create a string builder. It's gonna call this builder and this is a new string builder. The first thing that we want to do with our string builder is append a string. So, and in this string, we're going to say list of commands and we're going to hit up a new line. Then we're going to do something special. What we're going to do is we're going to say manager dot get commands. We're going to stream them. Then we're going to map and we're going to say I command dot get name so we only have the names and then we're going to say for each and then we're going to say builder.append config.get prefix and let's just prefend so append a backtick then we're going to append it and lastly we're going to append another backtick with a new line. And after that, all we need to do is send the message and, it, and it, it's builder.toString and builder.build. And now all we need to do is register our command. So what we can do is add command, new help command. And because we need to pass our command manager in here, we can just say this because we are in the command manager. Now let's check out how our bot runs. Okay, so now that we are in Discord, we can run the help command. And you'll see the list of commands are ping and help. So what we can do is say help ping, and it'll say just the current ping from the bot to the Discord servers. And as you can see, if we run the ping command, it actually does that. And of course, help help shows this. But not all bots use help for that command. Some of them use commands and others use command list and, and others use something else again. 
And this is where aliases come into play. So what we can do in our help command is say get aliases and we're gonna return list of all commands and cmd uh, cmds and command list you can interpret it however you want but if we now run the bot again and we say commands it does the exact same thing so i want to thank you guys for watching if you like this video leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and i see you guys next time with another menu doc tutorial bye